Incidentally, um, when everyone was trying to figure out what caused our breakup, and we weren't saying what caused our breakup, uh, Nikki was coincidentally liking a lot of pretty toxic posts. And, and at that point in time, there was like a feed on Instagram that would, you know, like you could just go to that feed and see what a person, you know, was interacting with. So all these people on the gossip forums and stuff were uh, just, just running with uh, whatever she was liking and coming up with um, rumors from it. And then at the time when Instagram changed that, where the, you know, that interaction feed was gone, suddenly she coincidentally started posting all these, you know, like quotes, like narcissist quotes and all that sort of stuff, which led to a lot of hate. And I think because I wasn't doing the same thing back, people just had this assumption that I was the sole cause of our divorce and um, I, I got a lot of, I dealt with so much hate over the years. From what I know, the cheating rumor started from, uh, I'm pretty sure a burner account leaving a comment on one of Nikki's Instagram photos about how I cheated on her and it gained a lot of traction and remained there and people assumed that that was the truth. And then there was, uh, there was a woman who made a video titled Jamie Perkins cheated on Nikki. And it was to the point where when you type my name in YouTube, I, I believe it's still like that. When you type my name in YouTube, type Jamie Perkins, the sort of autofill at the end is cheated. So when people look me up, that's always what they see. They believe that as, as, as fact. That video that lady made got over a million views. Um, I, I've searched for it because it got to the point where I was going to contact her and just human to human ask her to take it down. But I, I noticed I couldn't see it anymore. So I, I don't know why. Perhaps she decided to have a heart and, and take it down. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, but then there was a lot of other people who made similar videos as well and that was hard to cope with because the reason Nikki and I broke up was I discovered she had been unfaithful um she'd been going behind my my back with her ex-boyfriend and I'd been warned about him being an issue before I started dating Nikki again and um the first year of our marriage I discovered that she had been secretly keeping in contact with him and um I didn't see her side of the messages. I saw the face, Facebook message, like back then Facebook used to email you a receipt of the message and I had logged into my Hotmail and her Hotmail was still logged in. I saw all these messages from him, but she had deleted them on her Facebook. So I didn't know what her responses was. Um, but this guy had been, he'd been saying he was in love with her and he told, told her um, to leave me for him. And you know, we'd always hear about him talking to people about how he was in love with her and how he was going to get her back. And I just, I just thought this guy was a joke. I didn't think much of it. And, in that first year of marriage, when I discovered that she had been secretly talking to this guy, it, it nearly broke us up. It took away a lot of the trust that I had for her and we moved past it. And I somehow, I feel like I blocked it out of my memory. It was like, I just buried that and we moved forward. And I never thought I would have to worry about this guy again. And um, I won't go into details, but I, I, yeah, I discovered some things I never thought I would discover to do with her and him. And I left. Um, our marriage had been struggling for a long time. Um, for about three years or so, I had been desperately just trying to do everything that I could to fix our marriage, to make her happy, to give her what she wanted. Um, our marriage kind of went on her timeline. I was just always obsessively reading books on marriage, seeking out different marriage counselors, begging to go to counseling. And we went to three different counselors over three years in hopes that um, you know one of them could help. Um, things weren't great between us, but I loved her and I wanted things to work and I wanted our girls to grow up in a two-parent household. 